Pakistani troops on Sunday targeted forward posts along the line of control in Poonch district of Jammu Kashmir. Indian troops guarding the LOC retaliated and exchange of fire between the two sides continued for over an hour. The firing was started by Pakistani troops who targeted forward posts by using small arms. The first India-US tri-services exercise is likely to take place in 2019 and talks are on to include the special forces of the two countries in the drill. The three forces of each country already takes part in bilateral exercises separately. Their armies participate in an annual drill called Yudh Abhyas whose latest edition took place in September and the air forces take part in a bilateral drill called Cope India. Assistant Commandant of Odisha Police Special Operations Group has been conferred with the Ashok Chakra posthumously for sacrificing his life while fighting the Naxals. Assistant Commandant Pramod Kumar laid down his life on 16 February 2008 during a firefight between the security forces and the Maoists in Gosama jungle of Gunjam district and adjoining areas of Phulbani. The Air India Express plane that flew for 4 hours despite a tear in its belly after hitting a boundary wall at Tiruchi airport could have completed its journey to Dubai safely and was only diverted to Mumbai as repairs would be easier at a home base. Various teams including those of Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, Directorate General of Civil Aviation and the airline were in Mumbai as a part of an inquiry into the incident. The two pilots have been suspended pending investigation. According to officials of Indian Meteorological Department, temperatures this winter are likely to be slightly above normal owing to an El Nino. There is a possibility of a weak El Nino this year. The winters in India have been particularly warmer over the last 2-3 years. Last year was the warmest year recorded in India and across the globe. Scientists have cited the global warming phenomena behind it. The monsoon this year was below normal while IMD had predicted above normal temperatures in the summer. India was elected to United Nations top human rights body for a period of 3 years beginning 1st January 2019 getting 188 votes in Asia Pacific category the highest number of votes among all candidates 193 member UN General Assembly held elections for new members to United Nations Human Rights Council the 18 new members were elected by absolute majority through a secret ballot Countries needed a minimum of 97 votes to get elected to the council. Congress President Rahul Gandhi expressed his support for Me Too movement in the country and said that truth needed to be told loud and clear in order to bring about change. He tweeted with the hashtag Me Too that it's about time everyone learns to treat women with respect and dignity. I am glad the space for those who don't is closing. The truth needs to be told loud and clear in order to bring about a change. RSS leader Indresh Kumar too joined the debate by urging survivors of sexual harassment to immediately file police cases. He however questioned the delay of 10 to 15 years in bringing such instances to light. With Union Minister MJ Akbar denying all charges of sexual harassment leveled against him, the Congress stepped up its attack on Prime Minister Narendra Modi seeking the former's resignation. Congress Rajya Sabha MP and spokesperson Anand Sharma said that Prime Minister's silence was conspicuous and unacceptable. Addressing a press conference at the party office, Mr. Sharma questioned Mr. Modi's silence on the issue and said that as the head of government he should speak. Stating that the dignity of the office of prime minister is in question, Mr. Sharma said that if he kept quiet right now, the women of the country would lose respect for him. An emergency action plan will be implemented from tomorrow to combat air pollution in Delhi that has begun to show a trend towards poor category. Under the emergency plan called Graded Response Action Plan, stringent actions are implemented based on the air quality of the city. Currently, the air quality is in poor category, but authorities have predicted that it would reach very poor category in the next couple of days. In addition to GRAP, the CPCB has also deployed 41 teams across Delhi and CR to monitor proper implementation of norms enforced to prevent pollution at the source. 
Goa Chief Minister Mr. Manohar Parrikar arrived in Goa today afternoon from New Delhi where he was undergoing treatment at AIMS for pancreatic ailment. Mr. Parrikar who is 62 years old was flown in a special flight and later taken to his private residence at Donapola near Panchi in an ambulance. Mr. Parrikar has been ailing since mid February and has been treated at different hospitals including those in Goa, Mumbai and US.